Hi guys, it's Santa Mojo. Welcome to my house or welcome back to my house. Today's video is gonna be a house tour. Before I bring you guys inside to all of the chaos, I wanna I wanna show you the front of my house, but it's kind of the back of my house. It's very confusing. My front yard is like my backyard. So I think we should probably start with that. So let's go. We have this pool and fun fact I've lived here for four months and I've never swam in it because I just I can't fuck up the weave I can't fuck up the lashes. It's too much, but it's here for my guests. It's heated. It's great for slutty Instagram photos Love the pool. Basically, these are the stairs that you enter my house through and as you guys can see There's all this greenery and foliage everywhere Which is really good because I never leave the house and I really don't like outdoors So this is kind of my my little glimpse of the outdoors You know when I go to pick up my postmates or something like that I can see all the trees and stuff. So that's a good thing here We have my roof and there's very very easy access to it from these stairs So it's a very very good place to get high with my friends or just hang out have a little sex You know the casual things fun fact about this roof as you guys might know I guess I should probably tell you this too. This used to be Kean and JC's old house, which is very weird upon moving in I had literally no idea and then I found out by people tweeting me and Kean and JC like reaching out And I was like what the fuck are the odds? I looked at so many houses before moving and I remember walking into this one and just being like this is it This is my house. I'm moving in and then I found out it was Kean and and JC's. What's crazy is when I was like working at PacSun, like literally living in Vegas, working at fucking PacSun, being like a retail ass bitch, Kean and JC lived here. So every time I have any YouTubers over or anything, they always tell me stories of like parties here and like crazy shit they've done here that like they were doing while like I was working at PacSun. Life is just so weird in that sense, I don't really understand it, but fun fact about this roof. If you guys are big David and Liza fans, I definitely am. This is the roof where David and Liza met and had their first kiss and David actually took a pebble from this roof and got like a life-size painting of it and and gave it to Liza and Liza still has the pebble even though they're broken up. So basically every time I pass the roof I realize I'll never have like love like that, you know? <laughs> we have a very loud gate that you enter through to keep the stalkers and crazy people out. Not like there's a thousand crazy people living inside or anything. I also don't know how to open this. Can you open this? So through this gate, we have a little wooden walkway. I probably should have put on shoes. And up here is my jungle. <laughs> It's actually a pretty dope space for like photo shoots or smoking or whatever, but like I said, I don't like nature, so I don't find myself up here too often. Here we have some cacti and some palm trees. I don't know if they like grew it or put it here. I really don't understand how any of that works, but there's hella raccoons in this jungle and everyone be vlogging them and it's, it's a lot. Ooh, this is why I don't come up here. Like the trees and the splinters and the bugs and the raccoons, it's just too much for me. See, like the outdoors is literally fucking with my sinuses. Like I need to go back inside. There's more stairs leading up to more jungle with more moss and more foliage, but I think you get the point. Like there's a jungle in my front yard slash backyard. Down here takes you to the other side of my house, which you could also consider the front yard slash backyard. Doesn't really make sense. I've literally never used this staircase. Apparently there's another gate that I've also never used. And now we're back through to just where we were, to the pool and the front door and all that kind of stuff. But before I take you guys inside, I have something very, <laughs> Very funny to show all of you. So as you guys know, the entire reason why I am literally alive is my manager Jordan. Like I would literally have like one leg and no career if it like wasn't for him. So basically when I moved into this house, I had this extra space out here and like I guess it was meant to like entertain groups of people. Like if you wanted to have like a dinner party outside, but like I'm really not that bitch. So Jordan ended up asking if he could turn it in to an office space for him and his assistant Jenna. So basically Jordan quit working at his network, started a company and now he works out of my pool house, but I'd, I'd love to show you. <laughs> <laughs> By next Christmas, we might have that ready for you. We just need 12 months to make this one video. That is her production time. And here we have Jordan's office. I'll call you back. Yeah, I'll call you back. Bye. It's hot in here. So basically Jordan has hung every painting on this wall that I do want for my house uh, But he just stole them and hung them up in here. What, are, you, really what are we doing? What is this? A house tour. 
to work out of my house. I don't work out. This is a guest home. I work out of the guest home. Here we have a bunch of paintings that I paid hard-earned money for and wanted to hang in my house, but tools she that literally I put them in a back closet and they were just sitting there. And I said, "Can I hang these?" And she said, "Sure. I don't know. There's a frown." <laughs> Here we have Jenna, uh, Jordan's better half, you know, the only- Alright, we have a lot to do today. You have 45 minutes to get this video done before we keep going. You literally asked me what I was filming two minutes ago. Wrap this up. It's probably not that entertaining anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that was the pool house. <laughs> so that's where the brand deals happen. So over here, my pool slash guest house slash Jordan's office has a super dope, fully functioning bathroom, but it's locked and I'm locked out of it and Jordan won't give me the key. So just imagine it, I guess. <laughs> that's what house tours are for, right? And now I can finally take you guys inside of my house. I don't really have a key. Uh, the door locks like a hotel door. Like if you close it, it just locks. There's nothing you can do about it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hi, I'm the crackhead that used to live here, but they kicked me out. Oh yeah, I haven't even talked about that. Whoa, like I said earlier, this was Kean and JC's old house, and Trevor, who is seven feet tall right now, used to live here before me when I literally worked at PacSun, like in this house. Oh, I meant like last month when I lived here with you, but they kicked me out because I'm a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kicked Trevor out because he's a psychopath. You know, I mean, I, I think that we're better not living together, but I'm happy. She didn't right kick now. me out. <laughs> All right, come in. <laughs> so Come in. Before I take you inside, I just want to let you know I'm still decorating my house every single day. This is solely a tour of the architecture because you guys have been requesting it so much. But once I am done decorating this house, if you guys want a new, fully updated, decorated house tour, let me know because I love interior design and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's kind of bare, but I'm still giving you a house tour. I don't know. What did you expect? It's a Tana Mojo house tour. First, I'm going to take you into my living room. You know, establishing my relationship on the internet. Making it known that he's mine, not yours. Don't touch. Look what you can't touch. Literally a book about them. <laughs> like literally <laughs> chill. Okay, excuse me. So other than the people in my living room, we have my favorite couch. It's from Z Gallery. This was one of the first furniture items I literally ever bought. I like this couch because I'm super indecisive and I can like make it into any shape. It can be like a big bed or like a cloud couch or something like that. Super dope for when you're high as fuck and just want to like sprawl out on the couch. Then we have these hands with these two books in them. A really, really big fan of mine that I love so much in London made me this book. And it's like all of my tour dates on my first US tour, like every single show. It's so, so cute. Just because I love touring and I love you guys, I think it's a super dope book to have out. Then I have an overheard LA book that says we only dated for 11 Instagram. And then fun fact about these hands, actually. I bought these in Vegas for one of my old houses a long time ago. And they were sitting in one of my old houses and my dad came over. And the only thing inside of them was like a ball gag. Like, you know, like the have sex with <laughs> and my dad was like yo what is that and like obviously I'm not gonna tell my dad I like have this like ball gag like in my thing and I lie to him and I'm like yo it's a toy for my dog and in that minute the hands fell off the table and shattered and I got instant karma for like lying to my dad they were super expensive so I ended up replacing them and I love them so much a giant love sack everyone who gets drunk at my house ever ends up falling asleep on this so basically just <laughs> Trevor. She was, <laughs> she was my nest. Have Literally. you jacked off in the love sack? Why the fuck would I jack off in the love sack? I only jacked off in the one downstairs. <laughs> I did fun fact, I have masturbated in Bella's shower. She banned me from taking a shower. <laughs> but like, when I was, one does. <laughs> no, but when I nutted, I just like went towards the drain. Now it's That's in the Pacific, crazy. bitch. Enjoy, dolphins. Sit down. <laughs> dolphins like low-key like actually like rape people. This is a house tour. <laughs> Everyone has a house key. House Except key. me. You can be anyone. You can have a house key. I'm if you like, want a house key, give this video a thumbs up. You'll, <laughs> no. get, one. You'll get one. I'm like, comment below. I'm gonna choose one random winner. You guys get a house key. I'll mail it to you. Over here, I have this little area. I often use this for like filming or Instagram photos or whatever. I love this painting because it's like 3D and textured and super glittery and dope and expensive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then I have this little matching bench with like cute sequin pillows that I like faced with these fake flowers because let's be real I cannot take care of real flowers then I have this little table with this map above it because I'm a cliche Instagram hoe who needed a map where you put pins everywhere that you've been and as you guys can see I spend most of my time in the US <laughs> then I have my YouTube plaques hung up here please don't ever expect a 10 million one we just have these that's about it but they are loosely hung on this wall and I'm always scared they're gonna fall off if we had an earthquake they would absolutely shatter here I normally have my tour poster which I love and I'm so proud of but the ace family just took 
took it because they came here to film a house tour. I cannot believe that my house was toured on the Ace Family's channel before my own. Like literally, what the fuck is life? Like That's kind of why I'm doing this house tour. I felt like Austin showed a bunch of parts of my house and now I really want to show you guys everything. And then over here, we actually have my favorite area in the house and one of the main reasons why I knew this was going to be the house that I chose. It's like this circular area with a fire pit and a big couch and I really like to have like big meetings here, like people over if everyone wants to get high to the smoke sesh area or just like a, a good drinking entertaining area. Fun fact, this fire pit is absolutely incredible and it looks so beautiful when it's on, but the ventilation in this room is low key shitty and if you leave it on for too long, the entire area starts to smell like gas and everyone just like almost dies. Before I show you guys the rest of the rooms up here, I want to show you my kitchen and my dining room. So first we have the kitchen, and I can't lie to you, it is not a space I use a lot. I actually don't even think I've cooked in this kitchen like once, unless you consider like hot Cheetos and cream cheese cooking, but you probably don't. I'm really a sucker for kitchens with big islands though, because I just love this space to make a mess of, or for having like a pregame, or like, I don't know what if people fucking use islands for. Here on this island, the only thing I have are these two vases with succulents and flowers and all that kind of stuff in it. And fun fact, these were two of the first decor items I ever bought when I got my first house and like moved out. The other night, Trevor came over here blackout drunk, immensely inebriated, and was picking these up, letting the succulents fly everywhere, and taking this vase and putting it on his head. And they almost shattered. I absolutely lost my mind because I value my succulents and vases. <laughs> then my microwave is hidden in this very interesting chamber which I just think is so bougie and unnecessary but I'm not gonna lie I'm living for it. I know in all Cribs style house tour videos they show you the fridge but I can't lie to you my fridge is absolutely a mess right now I am not a James Charles sister and I do not have 20 pink drinks ready to show you but it's real half drink and waters <laughs> Fuck, I should have made the fridge look nice. Then we have the dining area where Mario is buying some Apple products right now. <laughs> I love this dining table. It is a one-of-a-kind marble table. I'm obsessed with all things marble, and I found this at a little custom furniture boutique in Vegas, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This table has been at all of my houses, and I fucking love it. The chairs are velvet and custom as well, and super comfortable. They're like a fucking bed. It's awesome. I love it. I love my dining table. There's also some BMW keys on the dining table. I don't know who that is, but love that for them. Um, we have this finger, which everyone likes to put in various holes of their body, but it is still on my dining table. What, you're so PG, I can't have <laughs> holes of people's bodies Stop. in the same room with you? And then of course we have all of these glass windows with a beautiful view of Los Angeles and the valley and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I never ever thought I would have it like this. I never thought I would have a house up in the hills with the dope ass view. Like I look at it every single day and it motivates me to work 10 times harder and just reminds me how grateful I am for like everything that I have, I guess. I know that sounds super cheesy, but like I think it is a constant physical reminder of how lucky I am to be in this life. So thank you to all of you for giving me that. This got cheesy, I'll fuck off. Then we have a little bathroom over here. Nothing special, just a guest bathroom. I do really like the sink though, so I had to show you the giant ass sink. Then we have Ashley's boyfriend Michael who is significantly cooler than all of us and just segues around. I don't know. Gotta have a little segue moment in the Santa Mojo household if you know what I mean. I have a little shoe rack which I'm not gonna lie to you is usually filled with like a thousand pair of shoes but I like clean for you so you're like welcome. We go downstairs to my room area. It's kind of a compound. I literally walk down into it every day and I'm just like how the fuck did I get this room in this life? It's absolutely crazy. But I spend the majority of my time down here editing, filming, or just being high as fuck, you know? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've eaten shit down these stairs like a hundred thousand fucking times. I don't get it. First things first, we actually have this dresser, which I'm trying to sell, so if you have any inquiries or wanna buy it, just let me know. Up here, I have a bunch of like Hypebeast sneakers. Shout out, Goat, they're fucking awesome. They're the plug. I don't know, I'm a Hypebeast. I love sneakers, I love all that kind of stuff, so I decided to put some of my favorites and most worn, dirty ones on display up here. I'm very much lucky enough to have like a living room space attached to my room, which I love. I use this room for getting ready or just like hanging out with people, smoking, filming, whatever. And we have this matching gray custom Z Gallery little set, which I love. It's gray suede and I picked it out myself and I die for it. This chair spins all around and it's super big and it can hold like 19 people. And then this couch, it's literally the size of a queen bed. So if people are ever staying here, they can sleep over here if they want to. Charlie Depew spilled paint on it once. I'm still losing my mind over it. Fuck you, Charlie. Uh, speaking of fuck you, we have this rug 
I bought this Ikea rug. I didn't really like it. I had some spray paint. I made this. I don't know how long it's going to stay there, but I think it definitely embodies me and the way that I feel about the world. And I can never have a house be too nice or professional. I just have to tanify it somehow. So that's what I did. All right, guys. As you can see, the sun is setting. So I'm trying to rapidly show you this downstairs space while we still have natural lighting. But here we have my makeup desk. This is where I cake my face like a pro every single day. As you guys can tell, I'm super obsessed with Jaclyn Hill and Kylie Jenner, all of her stuff. Got James's palette back here, totally unleashing my inner artist. A bunch of brushes, perfume, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm gonna take you guys into my favorite room in the house, my room. Here we have my boyfriend who's like way, way, way too hot and should totally break up with me and like date someone else, but uh, he's there on the bed. Over here we have one of my 9,000 dressers, but on it is the Ciroc bong, which means so much to me. As you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know the Ciroc is water story. So Ashley and Isabella just got me this bong and I've been leaving it out on display. You know, that's what people do, right, with their houses. Then we have this custom couch. It is one of one and it was made for me by an incredible artist named Coin Slot. I'm gonna link him below. Go peep his shit though, like he is so talented. The entire couch is 90s themed. All over the couch is a bunch of crazy 90s themed stuff along with some like vulgar shit. There's like porn magazines and like condoms and like backwoods and like cigarettes and like pills and shit. But then there's like McDonald's fries and like 90s cartoon characters and like blockbuster video and like the little robo dog that like everyone had in the fucking 2000s and shit. Like it's just cool as fuck. I love this couch. I want to say thank you to Coin Slot. I covered it with a red fur fake of course. Here we have my Alexa. She's my fucking home girl. I use the Alexa constantly to like change my lights and stuff like that like Alexa make all lights red if I need some like mood lighting or whatever and music played that's super dope Alexa make all lights cool white Okay. We don't like warm white. Um, <laughs> and then we have my bed. It's giant. Obviously, this is the place where I spend literally all of my time sleeping my life away. Jordan often wakes me right here at like 3 p.m. every single day. I got black satin bedding just because I love it. It hides all the mess and hot Cheetos and whatever. Of my bed, I have this amazing cinema art piece, which is made by Iconic Art. I just want to say thank you to them. They gave me this incredible painting. It matches the vibe of my room and just like my vibe so, so, so well. So obsessed with it. Everyone walks into this room and just compliments this piece and I think it looks so good over my bed and on my black walls in my black room. Shout out Hunter and Charlie DePew for painting this room. Hunter's a videographer and Charlie's a fucking actor but they were they were painters for me so I appreciate that very much. Then I have some little Ikea nightstands which I covered in black fur just because I'm messy and ash on it all the time and ash looks better on black fur than a white nightstand. And over in this corner I have this little white poof where I'm hiding strippers on the inside and above this poof I have this amazing sari painting. I saw this random small artist on Instagram. I'm gonna link them below as well. They painted something like this on a really small canvas and it said something else. And I messaged them and I was like, please make me a huge one that says, sorry, I will buy it from you, I want it. And I bought this art piece and I'm obsessed with it. It's one of one, it's so cool. Honestly, it makes me wanna get this tattoo because I mean, my nails always look like that. Then over here, I have my TV, which I'm obsessed with. I stay streaming YouTube videos on it. And then over here, two of my favorite art pieces. This one is also from Iconic. Again, I'm gonna link them below. Go check them out, they're so dope. Even if you just want to like look through their website, all of their art is so sick. And then we have this. I was walking down Sunset and Vine one day and I look up and I see this giant billboard and it says Woke AF is the new sunken place. I just love the movie Get Out. Like I think it's an amazing, amazing film. And I just fucking hate like fake woke Twitter bullshit. I don't know. I thought the phrase was really, really cool. So I literally went on and bought a canvas and like repainted the billboard and I'm actually pretty obsessed with it. I think I did an okay job. If you get close up, you can definitely tell like a third grader did it, but like if you're far away, it's cool painting. And then we have this random bag, an eight ball, it just sounds wrong. <laughs> Some little jewelry boxes. My favorite candle in the entire world from Bath and Body Works, it's Tis the Season. I have like 19 in a drawer somewhere. It's so good and fresh and fun. A little lava lamp and some of my favorite necklaces. Then up here I have this Playboy wall. It's nowhere near done, but you would be surprised ordering good Playboy magazines is actually very hard. So that should be done in the next couple weeks. I saw this photo of Halsey's house. She got her entire house like interior designed. And the interior designer did her bar room like this. And I was like, damn, I really want a wall in my room to be like that so I can do like photo shoots in front of it and when it's done I can like film in front of it and stuff and everyone is already so obsessed with this wall when they come in so I can't wait for it to be finished I'm super excited definitely fits the Hefner vibe then we have this pole of Polaroids which is also not done yet I shouldn't be doing a house tour I think that's just like the premise of this whole video I'm not gonna let you guys get too close because way too many of them are way too provocative but for everyone who comes in my room they see a bunch of unfacetuned photos of me with some crazy captions we have my closet on the closet door I have this jewelry organizer and then you walk in and it 
looks like I have my life together, but I just don't in the slightest. And what's funny is 99% of the shit I don't even wear. I just have drawers full of hoodies and that's always what I'm in. Swipe up, merch link in bio. Yeah, we have a wall of a bunch of camo joggers and pants because I'm a basic Instagram hoe. A bunch of body suits, a bunch of new stuff and dresses, crazy random shit, colorful shit that I never wear. And then up here on the shelves, I have a bunch of stuff that I just like fuck with or want to put on display or is new or is designer and I don't want people to like touch it. Up here we have a little Gucci princess section, heels I'm literally never gonna wear section. The backpack that Jordan destroyed and ruined my life up here, broken once again on display. Yeah, and then a dresser. This normally has cute shit on it too, but you know, what the fuck is this house tour? So yeah, that's my closet. It's not painted black because Charlie and Hunter decided to stop. And here we have my bathroom. I get to tell everyone that Kia Molly has showered in my shower and that's that's about it, you know? Um, but not with me, of course. Yeah, that's my bathroom. I don't know. It's, it's not really an interesting bathroom. There's a bar stool for when I want to get ready and do my weave, but yeah. <laughs> And then outside of my room, I have this giant wraparound balcony and it's probably my favorite part of the house. I just think being able to look at the whole city and the sunrises and the sunsets and smoking out there is so dope. But unfortunately it's dark outside right now so you're gonna have to watch some like B-roll of it because I'm like a really good YouTuber. And then just when you think the room tour is over, there's one more part of this room that is very special, very near and dear to my heart. One of my favorite parts of the house. My room has its own little kitchen. And like I said, I'm not really much of a chef, but to be able to just have this little room up here for people to cook, or like if I'm eating my Postmates and I'm like lazy and I don't wanna like take it upstairs, I have a fridge down here, a bunch of drinks in the fridge, some like prosciutto and shit, so. Yeah, but it's a fully functioning kitchen. There's this really interesting dungeon space up here that I use for storage and uh, flavor blasted goldfish and James Charles PR box, you know, just casual kitchen things. I have a fuck up champagne bottle that my record label made for me that I have yet to open. And then up in the kitchen, another closet for um, all of my coats and costumes and extra kind of stuff that I don't really use on a daily basis, you know. Uh, Make your own Jojo Siwa bow kit. The fucking Orbeez. Just the essentials, really. A quick everyday cap. <laughs> my very first day living in this house, I ate mad shit down these stairs and I was limping for like an entire week, so I'm super cautious of those now. And then before we go back upstairs, in here, I have a very interesting space, a third closet that is nowhere near done yet. I actually want to like amber shoal the fuck out of this room and like DIY it and like paint these walls and like put a mirror up. And then all the shoes that I just never wear because I'm not a fucking girl. Entire rack of vans and slides because I am a little boy. I actually have these random custom Chance the Rapper painted Converse because I love him and I don't know where I got them, but I love him. In the very corner of my shoe closet, just when you think it's over, it's a very interesting room in my house and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I avoid this room at all costs. I am 100% convinced it is haunted. It is so freezing cold in here always, no matter what. It's weird as fuck. I don't know. Kian literally told me that when he lived down here, he never went in this room because it freaked him out too. You can't even really get inside, but it's this giant cement dungeon that is filled with all the shit that I don't want anyone to see and all of my demons, you know? Scary space, not really living for it, never really going in. I literally have chills. But yeah, this is my shoe closet and eventually it's gonna be really dope, so I am excited to show you guys that once I'm done with it. Now I'm gonna bring you guys upstairs and show you some of the other rooms in the house and the people that stay in them, at least the ones that are letting me show their rooms. Over on the left wing of the house, I never thought I would have a house where I could say that, but it's kind of awesome. Bella has her own room in her own space, so let's go, let's go check on her. There's a laundry room, but I've clearly never been in it. Oh my god, your room looks so nice. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. A fancy oh, fucking Oh, no, 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 closet. don't show my closet. <laughs> I can change yeah. the colors. Well, that's dope. <laughs> then, on the other side of the house, when I bring you guys through the living room, the sun is completely down right now, but I mean, what do you expect from a Tana Mojo house tour? We have a bunch of other people's rooms. And then, Mario's a pussy ass bitch. Haley's room isn't clean. And Amari and Aaron are taking over the guest room, but I guarantee you, there's a thousand McDonald's cups and like bongs and like weed on the floor, and I just don't want to show you any of that. But, at the end of this hallway, we have Ashley's room. Ashley is the only girl in this house. She's the only girl I know. Her room is absolutely better than everyone else's. And I walk in there on a daily basis so jealous of how clean it is, how organized it is. All of the cool and fancy shit that her fancy and cool boyfriend put in there. Oh, ow. The money on the bed. I hate you. 
Yeah, this is Ashley's room. I'm gonna show you guys briefly. This is her Grammy nominated boyfriend who's better than all of us combined. <laughs> Three Grammy. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones who got us all on the fancy lighting systems. I feel like no one had cool lights in this house before them. They literally have this thing up here that is like controlled by sound. And like literally if you're fucking, it'll like change to the sound of you fucking. It's absolutely insane. Okay, do you want me to put it on that side? So now, as you talk, like the sound affects the lights. Like she's literally better than all of us. Over here again, because she's a girl, she has an entire rack of clothes and pre-planned outfits. Literally me, most girls. Just an inspirational board to keep her, you know, thin and healthy. <laughs> and then her bathroom, which I cannot lie to you, I'm so jealous of this bathroom. I debated on wanting this room for so long because of this bathtub. Fun fact, one time I period bled, left my period blood clothes over there. Then Ashley was taking a bath and then the toilet started to overflow and there was shit water everywhere and it mixed with my period blood. And that's just like why she doesn't use the bath and why I'm not allowed in here. So <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> This is where Michael spends 99% of his time. He turned this corner into a gaming corner. And then that door leads back out to the backyard slash front yard that you guys saw earlier. All right guys, the sun is down. You've seen my house, you've seen my rooms, you've met the people in it. Please buy my merch so I can keep this house and you don't have to go home, but you gotta get the fuck out of here.